another issue uh, and phone calls that I get all of the time and people don't want to listen so I made a video for you. If your brake pedal is spongy and you can't get the brakes to get a hard firm pedal and you've bled a hundred hours and you've wasted tons of fluid and you're losing your mind and you watch the other video that I made about the little hole let me show you what that hole does. The first thing you do to get rid of that last bit of air in the master cylinder is you put a bullet level on top of the master cylinder just like that and you get that bubble in the level to go right where it is okay it's aiming towards the windshield now what that is doing is it's telling you that's where all the bubbles are inside the master cylinder and where those bubbles are right now as we speak is they're parked right up against you see my name right there on the level is they're parked right up against the seal inside the master cylinder that seal is parked right behind that little hole and every time you put your foot on a pedal is, is it like a like a maintenance or emergency factor every time you put your foot on the pedal if there's any bubbles in the master cylinder it's parked right there at the hole and then when you put your foot on the pedal the seal pushes the bubbles out of the hole all the time so the only way you're going to be able to get those bubbles out is by making sure that you lift it up the back of the car just like I have it, I lift it up the back until the bubble on the level went towards the windshield. If the car is just sitting on the ground, the bubble is going to be going towards the front. So you want to make sure that that bubble is right where it is. And the only way to tell is by putting a level on it. People call me all the time and I ask them, did you put a level on it? And they go, no. Well, guess what? You're not smarter than a level. So, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to take the level off. And my buddy is going to put his foot on the pedal right now. And you're going to see bubbles come up. All right, go ahead, Jason. See the little bubbles coming up? Let it make sure the, the pedal comes all the way up to the top. And then you see those bubbles coming up. See the bubbles coming up? Now, those are the last bits of air that are trapped in the master cylinder that you cannot bleed out of the brake lines. See, another bubble just came up. And those little tiny bubbles, you may not seem like much, but they cause a lot of friggin' problems. Just keep doing it over and over. Nice and slow, not crazy. And you're going to see all the bubbles come up. And when you do it, I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take. You do it till you don't see any bubbles coming up. That your pedal should be rock hard. Another thing you can do is you can, while someone's doing that is you can take a rubber mallet like this and you can tap on the master cylinder in case there's a bubble trapped underneath the piston or trapped underneath the spring or trapped somewhere you don't want it hit it with a rubber hammer a couple times and then just keep doing it over and over that means when you see bubbles coming up like that that means that there, those little holes those little tiny holes in the bottom of the master cylinder are not blocked if you don't see any percolation or any bubbles that means that the holes are clogged um, Jace, hit the pedal hard one time when it's all the way at the top so we can see we can see some percolation. So see that percolation? Let's do that one more time. Okay, that perc that was good, thank you. That'll also take the paint off your car if you're not using silicone, but it's your choice. If you're uh, east of the Mississippi, I suggest silicone. West, you can use just regular fluid. The humidity, uh, because of the dot three or four silicone, I mean uh, fluid, is hydroscopic. It draws moisture. So um, that percolation means that those holes are clear. It's another thing I talk to people on the phone all the time. So uh, I use, just keep doing it, but not hard. And see if we get any more bubbles to come out. I don't see any more bubbles. See a little bit of percolation. It changes the, the meniscus of the, of the top of the fluid. You can see it. So it looks like we're good. Let's do one more of those percolation tests. See, that means those holes aren't clogged. Okay, all right, that's it. Hope you guys got it.